All right, guys, I'm up here at camp getting all set up for the year. Still real quiet this time of year, so got a lot of time to do some thinking. And I can't help but think that I want to do a little history lesson on Krasimir Kostadinov, my next opponent for East First West 8, because some of you guys are new, a lot of you guys forget, and I think it's easy to get it twisted um, about really what he's all about and who he is. Um, of course, people always... This sport has a history of uh, most sports, but this one is very unforgiving. You're only as good as your last loss or win, and they don't look at a person's career and their capacity. So, Krasimir, um, let's talk about him. Because if I'm being 100% honest, and this is going to sound crazy to some of you guys, because you're going to go on a quick little Google search or look at recent things. When I judge a person, I look at their capacity where they've been because if you've been there once unless you have a really bad injury or something i'm assuming that with training nutrition and the right motivation you can get back there that's like your capacity maybe even past there and i think the very best version we've seen of krasimir um is probably more dangerous and complete than zurab and i'm assuming i'll bump into some version of that uh, a lot of people are thinking because, you know, he was middle of the pack at AMC and Zarab won that Zarab's up here and Krasimir's down here. So let's talk about it. I remember the first time I heard of Krasimir. I was supposed to go to uh, WAF. I don't remember which year it was. It was in the early years of me starting arm wrestling, maybe 2006, but I'm not sure. But I do know that I didn't go and Krasimir won the class I was in. So, of course, my curiosity was piqued. Who's this guy? Michael Todd, I had talked to him, uh, and he said some Bulgarian super freak won it. You know, just kind of coming in and just shredding everybody, walk through the class pretty easy. So, my curiosity was piqued. Then through, uh, I think, Facebook, we had connected because we had similar lifts. You know, he liked heavy curls. He liked one-arm chins. Uh, we were in the same weight class, so he was kind of like, hey, you know, we had kind of done some reaching out periodically. I fell off Facebook, you know, he went on his career, I went in a different path here in North America. But I was going to splice together a whole bunch of videos. And I figured, why not let you guys Google search and go give those guys who put the content and time in their views. But I was going to give you a bunch of videos. So let's talk about Krasimir, where he's been. We all want to look at the fact that he lost to Matt. He lost to Corey. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other match he might have lost, maybe Arakli. But when you're in a sport like, so I'm going on almost 20 years, and I'm guessing he's been in the sport roughly as long, 19 years I've been in. It's easy to have, nobody can be 100 all the time. Nobody. I've seen it happen with John, Ron, you know, all the guys that they have ups and downs, and their downs are still good enough to be on that elite level. But they have moments. You know, I've seen John go on a run where he was losing to, he took a loss to Todd Hutchings. I've seen him lose a super match to Krasimir. Seen him lose to, you know, Travis very fast and convincingly. But then he comes back in a better form in 2006 and he's grabbing dudes of the highest caliber around the wrist. Sometimes a little motivation. Sometimes you get a little comfortable and you fall off. Injuries. That shit's very real. So Krasimir, at his best, in those days, is a guy that, I was gonna, like I said, I was going to splice together videos, but a quick Google search on YouTube, you'll find it. Zloty Tournament. He's beat John in a super match. Maybe John's health questionable. Zloty Tournament, I think it was 2012. Got in there in a hook, beat John. I've seen him beat a guy in a dead hook like Rustam who I have the highest respect for in his hooking ability, especially when he was in those prime years, when he was active. I think Rustam was one of the greatest hookers and arm wrestlers we've ever seen. He's been a guy that, you know, could transcend weight classes and terrorize open classes in the arm wrestling world. That Unless you were somebody like John or Dennis or Pushkar, and they still probably had their ass puckered pull at him. And Krasimir got in there in his lane, caught him, and beat him. Just saw our video where he beat Sasha from that drive. Sasha with that hard shoulder committed drive. Got wins on Sasha, wins on Rustam in their money, wins on John. Um, wins on a guy like Alex Kerdecher at the top eight. 
Um, Arson Liliev, when Arson Liliev was the nastiest top roller on the block, got a win on Prime Dennis, was smoking through classes like it was, he, like he had a cheat code. Crazy me, catches him. I was gonna, I was gonna put that video in there. Catches him in the straps, driving on him. He's beat him a few times. He's got wins on Todd Hutchings. I mean, when you start talking about his win list and what he could be, to me, how complete he looks. He looks like he has all the components of Zarab with initiation, experience. I mean, I think it was just last year. Was it 2022? He won the 100 kilogram WAF title. In 2019, he won the Zloty title. And I think he took second in the whole overall tournament to Siliev. And we all know Siliev's a humongous, top of the line, super heavyweight who's got wins on Vitali. I mean, when they were creeping in the same weight class, he's got wins on, or, or maybe not even the same weight class, but before everybody went nuclear, he's got wins on Gennady. He's got wins on Levan. I mean, pretty much everybody who's anybody has taken a beat down at the hands of Krasimir. And I mean, if you were even within that weight range, fucking forget about it. So it's easy because I fall into that category. You know, you take a couple losses or you fall off for a few not even off but just not where you were and people think you're a bum i mean stylistically a guy like matt Corey, you know vitali arakli and who knows what was going on in his life but when you look at the best version of krasimir i do think he could have secured some of those wins against those guys don't know what's going on but i always anticipate if you've been there he can go back there he's not an old man I don't think he's riddled with injuries. He jumped on this match. And I think it, it, the little history lesson, if you guys go Google where he's been and what he's done, he's every bit and then some is decorated is somebody like Zarab who are crowning the king of this class. And he's definitely got a wins at a, like a higher level. You know, beating someone like John and driving through him in spots at a probably a better shape, younger, well, definitely younger, Shapes arguable, but driving through John that way, driving through Rustam that way, super heavyweights. I mean, it just seems like his ceiling was higher. And to me, if I get a guy that's in good shape, I think he's more dangerous. So just wanted to give the respect to the guy because I could see kind of the comments. People like to judge only based on what have you done for me lately without really knowing just how bad that fucking dude is. And I think guys like Neil Pickup, Ingen, you know, judging somebody based on their most recent outings is cool. But boy, oh boy, if he comes in shape, that's a guy that's a top runner in any weight class. And he's proven it time and time again. So go do your homework. Have some fun with it. I'm looking forward to the match. For me, for me personally, it's a bigger match than Zarab. I would love to rerun the Zarab match um, at some point in time. And this is no disrespect to him. It's just a huge respect for the longevity and the level of dominance in the guy's resume in Krasimir. So I look forward to arm wrestling him, gripping up, seeing where he's at. But, uh, man, don't discount the guy based on recent history because just a short little Google search and the people that are in the know will let you know real quick. So uh, I'm over here. You can see I got the arm wrestling table up at camp. We're going to get the grind on. So I'll try to be the best me I can be, and I'm hoping he'll be the best him he can be. All respect.